Hello everyone who will find the great welcome to the Tech channel if you're new here welcome and I'm so happy to see you all once again today we're going to discuss about how to make a virus for <laughs> how to make a virus for our uh, Windows operating system for the good purpose not for the bad purpose so um, uh, let me uh, have created in here to make sure it's working or not it, it really works all right so the reason that we we need to create a virus, we, we say it's a virus, but technically this is how you can shut down uh, Windows operating system. It's not only Windows Server 2022. We can uh, we can shut down any types of Windows operating system, whether you're using Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server 2019, Windows Server 2022. It doesn't matter, but this is the procedure. Just procedure, remember that. So there's a two procedure. Let me write it down in here. Uh, there's a two procedure. Mm. One one. So um, let's write it down in here. The first is how to shut down. We 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 are kind of making. It's not a virus, but you can you can say that that's this is how the virus impact in our operating system. First, let's see how we can shut uh, shut shut down the yeah the OS operating system and how to hold it hold the OS. So remember that there's a two way. If you run, then you have to make sure that how to hold it to not run as well. But generally, um, and uh, I remember, and um, I remember here was that was 2007, 2008. At that time, it was very popular. This was very known kind of virus as well. But anyway, uh, in order to shut down, so sometimes if you encounter that you you cannot find the shutdown, or if you go to the, um, we can say, the recovery mode of the um, Windows operating system and you don't know how to shut down the operating system um, um, so option number one is that you have to come run once you get here uh, once you get here uh, you just need to type shut this is the command I remember that so in here shut down slash s as mean shut down slash t is a time 60 as a 60 second slash f is force i will definitely put this uh, command down in the description as well so you have to make sure this is how you can shut down and in order in order to avoid to shut down you just need to do a shut uh, down slash a once you enter this one this is how you can Hold on. I mean, I don't want to shut down. So option number one is once you get here, click OK. This is how you can shut down the operating system after we can say 30 second or after 60 second. It depends on how many second you want to add. This is option number one. Option number two is that if we just copy this one, go to CMD. This is the recovery mode, guys. Remember. We have a recovery mode. When you go to the recovery mode of any operating, any types of Windows operating system, uh, we can run this application here as well. So you can run the same script and the command line interface as well. So main one you can do the uh, Power Shield the same script or the same script exactly. So. If I click enter, what's gonna happen in the 30 second? This computer is gonna be shut down. <laughs> so in order to avoid this one, what we're gonna do is we need to go run. Once we get run, we have to say shut as A to avoid to wipe. I mean, I don't want to shut down. I don't want to shut down. Let me type uh, it uh, twice to make sure I don't want to shut down. If it shut down itself, maybe uh, the command minus eight won't work okay if I do the same thing in here I can get the same result let's close these two and let's 
make a virus. If you send it to one of your friends, like for a testing purpose, and the domain environment, like, hey, do you want to collect? Let's, let's make a very simple one. Um, I, will, I will come in here, I will type a notepad. Remember that you can do this stuff on a notepad. What I need to do is that I need to type shut down slash s. You can say time. Let's say 120 in two minutes and then force, should force shut down. Uh, close. Yes, I want to save this. Very important. I want you to just focus on uh, the procedure. Uh, my my pictures. I mean my picture. That's not not not, not pictures. My pictures. Dot. Path. So my pictures. Dot. Path. If if I send this message I mean this this virus to any friend of mine any friend of mine so what's gonna happen is if my friend double click on this icon for example hey this is my picture or let's right click I remember that long time ago long time ago I was uh, long time ago we were able to change the um, icon picture I mean I wish we were able to change the icon uh, yeah I remember it was in the properties once we get here not security not details uh, version compatibility is not yeah but there is no way but before it was possible to to change the, this picture of this picture let's see if I come here oh that's recently come present decompress all right so pretend that I just drag and drop this uh, I can see this bad file to friend of mine. Let's let's see what's gonna happen. Friend of mine will double click. Oh, this is Elias picture. Let's see what's gonna happen. So he doesn't know that within two minutes his computer gonna be turned off. Okay, guys, let's see within two minutes what's gonna happen with my computer. Um, once this one is shut down, we're gonna close this uh, discussion. And I hope the information was very helpful, guys. The only way to appreciate my work is to simply subscribe. And of course, uh, follow me on YouTube. You can find me on YouTube. You can find me on LinkedIn as well. But let's see what's going to happen. Um, it should work. And uh, guys, this is, this is the most, um, this is the genuine prompt. You're, you're about to be signed out. So window will be shut down in two minutes. So shutdown will be start on today. So mention about day of today, and let's see what gonna happen. So the reason which I'm holding to just want to make sure that it is working. If it is not, then we have to troubleshoot to make sure how to resolve and how to fix this problem. But I'm sure soon this Windows Server 2022 gonna be <laughs> shut down. Um, make sure do not play these things guys just have uh, remember that do not play uh, with the production just if you have a virtual environment at home or at office just practice there and have fun but not too much you know make sure to not run these things in any production especially in domain uh, or active directory in domain uh, controllers that definitely uh, will destroy it. and gonna cause a lot of problem you know so I think it's almost uh, two minutes we have a few seconds to see and so the file is there you go guys the entire domain is shut down and I just got fired <laughs> just kidding it was a test lab and I hope the information was very helpful all right, we'll be in touch, guys.